big plays highlighted Cal Poly football's 34 point win in its home opener. I'm Andrew Masuda with your KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute. The Mustangs enter their home opener with South Dakota State coming off two tough losses on the road. Playing in his first home game, Andre Broaddus scored two rushing touchdowns, racking up 69 yards on the ground while throwing for 213, including a 29-yard strike to Jared Houston and a 69-yard bomb to slot back Mark Rogers. The defense forced its first five sacks of the year. Its first two interceptions of the season were also memorable. Bijan Samudi returned a pick for six, 46 yards to go along with 11 tackles. Senior Asa Jackson tied a program record with a 100-yard interception return to ice it in the third quarter. He racked up eight tackles and four pass breakups to garner Great West Defensive Player of the Week honors. The 48-14 win was Cal Poly's biggest margin of victory at home in three years. Tim Walsh's squad returns to the road for another tough test Saturday, playing at FBS-level Northern Illinois. Kickoff is at 12.30 California time. Cal Poly Volleyball opens Big West play Friday at Fullerton, followed by a Saturday match at Long Beach State. The road-tested team lost in straight sets at 16th-ranked Oregon and at USF last week before winning its home opener in three sets against Cal State Bakersfield in front of 1,700 fans. The men's soccer team split its first two road games of the year. Cal Poly topped Syracuse 2-1 in its opener at a tournament hosted by Akron. The Mustangs lost in a late penalty shot 1-0 to fourth-ranked and defending national champion Akron to close out action there. Head coach Paul Holliher's squad returns home for its final non-conference battle. They'll host Denver Sunday at 1. Women's soccer goalie Brooke Govin is this week's Big West Defensive Player of the Week. She made 10 saves to help Cal Poly to a 1-1 draw with ninth-ranked Pepperdine. Tiffany Gumma scored in the 63rd minute for the Mustangs, who early in the week routed Nevada 4-1. At 6-3-1, Cal Poly closes out non-conference play Friday when Fresno State comes to town. Cal Poly named Nick Carlos his new men's tennis head coach. He spent the last five years as an assistant at nationally ranked Pepperdine. He played three years for the Mustangs, earning all conference honors on two occasions. And with this week's KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute, I'm Andrew Masuda.